on the Republicans is, you know, Scott Walker is gone with even less than a whimper. And I mean, there's someone whose career, like this election has ended so pathetically that a guy that, you know, I totally detest who represents everything that is wrong in America in many respects. It was, I even felt like a sort of glimmer of pity versus compassion, but I will say some pity for him. Uh, and, and, but, but, but I guess the more, the, the thing that's relevant in our business, and I think even some, like, I think I was saying this, you know, several months ago before this actually started, like on paper, Scott Walker is a pretty formidable Republican primary candidate. People oh, just I, I, got this his, totally his wrong. Has been a, totally amazing. I mean, yeah. I, I was in I was in Greece covering the financial crisis during the, the week of the of the Greek referendum. Uh, when uh, so when when was that? That was probably about eight weeks ago. Yep. So my friend over there, who who's a journalist, was picking my brain about the uh, about who I thought was the most popular. And I was like, "There's no way that Jeb's going to get it." Uh, so Definitely. I guess that's at least Scott Walker as being the, the favorite. I mean, how wrong could I have been? Yeah. He's just been, he's just done an, a really impressively terrible job. Yeah. I mean, he was so bad in that first debate. He was so, he looked like a, I mean, he was like Rick Santorum without the charm. And Rick Santorum <laughs> has no charm. Like, I'm amazed at how badly right. Scott Walker's done. I don't think I recall, uh, a, a descent from, of, like, a lowering of expectations as swiftly as Scott Walker's. It's quite, it's baffling. I'm impressed. It's dizzying. 